yogi friends. My name is Tiffany. I am a fat yoga teacher trying to make yoga more accessible to everybody. So today and the next five days, I will be going over a few, um, few specific things about yoga. The one of the limbs of yoga, the yamas. But before before we get into that, first I'd like to point out my Teespring is up. So go check it out. You can get some gear like this, that magical yogi stuff and um, lots of other things. I even have affirmation cards. It's like a digital download. So go check it out. Like I want you to at least check it out. I also have um, like links to all of my social media platforms and subscribe and all the things. Okay, so let's get into it. Okay, so the next one is Satya, truthfulness, truthfulness. So this is how I interpret Satya. Um, it is your divine truth. So it is who you truly are as a person. It is speaking openly about a situation that is exactly rooted within what you believe in. So um, if you'd like to uh, take a situation that you have a firm belief in and you wanted to share it to social media or to your friends, that would be called sharing your satya. That's, that'd be like doing that truthfulness. I'm practicing satya, which is truthfulness for uh, living that yoga lifestyle. So um, if you're feeling like, um, I'm not sure what I'm, I should be sharing. I don't know what my truth is. Uh, lots of meditation, lots of like kind of what is going on. And your truth might be something like, um, I'm un I don't know what my satya is. I'm trying to find it. So something like that could go right back to satya. Um, if you are feeling like um, you're a truthful person and you're always practicing satya, then that's great. Uh, it doesn't necessarily mean that if you have lied in the past that you don't track um, practice uh, satya because you can also practice it by um, explaining your truth in the lie. You know, so the whole point of satya is to be truthful in your convictions, like in your um, beliefs. So like if you believed in whatever you were lying about, you could t potentially like still be truthful, if that makes sense. So there's a lot of ways you can uh, interpret this if you'd like. Um, I always think of it like being completely transparent online, having some sort of social media account, it, it doesn't always resonate with me that that is sharing your satya. That is not necessarily um, showing that side of you. Um, satya is typically something much deeper. So uh, it would be sharing something that's uh, meaningful to you. It would be um, always like resonating with like something that is powerful. So there's more to it than just being truthful. There's um, like a divine truth that's within you. That would be your satya. So if you know for sure, like, I don't know, like sexual orientation, your divine truth and your sexual orientation, if you truly believe that you are a certain way, then that is your satya. If you have a divine truth that isn't spoken about, but you just feel it within yourself, like you feel a certain way about a category, like I will just say, like just to make it surface level, maybe it's like a television show. You hate it. Your divine truth is that you hate it and you have a reason why. That could be the satya about that television show. So lots of different ways you can kind of dissect and look at this, but being um, true to yourself is probably the most important part of satya. Um, and I'll just share like, my truth has always been to share the joy of yoga. I have been very open about that and accessibility for yoga, uh, allowing people to believe that they can practice yoga on different levels. And when you break down yoga in this way, where you're like being a truthful person equals being a yogi, like 
Yes, yes it does. It doesn't mean anything about asana. Asana is just the postures. And so when you break down the, the ways of life within the yoga philosophy and Hinduism, and you understand that yoga is way more than physical practice, then all of a sudden you start to believe like, okay, maybe it really is just about the breath. <laughs> So today, let's do a little bit of a meditation, um, find a comfy seat, and we will just meditate on our truthfulness. Maybe we need to explore it and see um, what our truth is. Maybe we don't know. Maybe we need to make it feel like resonating within us. So what is your satya? What do you feel about your satya? What do you want to feel about your satya? So lots of things can come up here. So let's go ahead and find a comfy seat, uh, feet flat onto the earth, hands at the knees, shoulders away from ears. Sit up in our bodies, take a deep inhale, open mouth, exhale, oh, let it all go. Deep inhale, open mouth, exhale. Oh. Begin to sit up tall, tuck your chin, Relax your jaw, and then seal your lips and begin to breathe in through the nose and out through the nose, finding that ujjayi breath. It's that breath of life that feels so good. So as we inhale and sip in the air, we count to four, five, or six. And as we exhale, we find that same count, four, five, or six. If we inhale for four, we exhale for four. If we inhale for five, we exhale for five. Find your smooth breath that feels good. As we inhale and exhale, finding that ujjayi breath, I'd like to offer the thought of what is my satya? What is my divine truth or truthfulness? What is it? What is it that I know about myself to be fully true? And am I living in my truth? Take some deep inhales here. And exhales. Asking yourself questions in meditation is so important. We don't let ourselves come to answers that are authentic when our mind is in that normal state. But if we take the time to breathe, and then ask the questions, oftentimes the correct answers will arise. What is your satya? If you know what it is, think it. Over and over again. What is my satya? How can I make this truth one or two words? How can I make this truth one or two words? What is my satya? Maybe you don't know, so you ask again. What is my satya? What is my divine truth? What is my truthfulness? This can be anything, friends. This can be being a nice person. This can be loving the color purple. This can be who you are as a person. I identify as this. I identify as a mom. I identify as a yogi, 
what is your divine truth? Take a few more deep breaths here, friends. On that next exhale, bring your hands to your heart center, tuck your chin, and thank yourself. For tapping into the breath and feeling into your divine truth. If you didn't find it, that's okay. But just know that this is part of being an awesome yogi. Bring your thumbs to your third eye. The divine light within me honors the divine light within you. Namaste. Thank you so much for practicing with me today, friends. I appreciate you so much. And I hope you're enjoying this little yama meditation, gentle practice. And let me know. Give me feedback. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.